Howdy folks. Welcome to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought. We just lost to Massachusetts. An Indiana class battleship got sunk by a single coastal submarine that was approaching my task force. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That was devastating. Well done to the Italians. Um, as expected, last time we tried to invade Northwest Italy and of course we failed. However, the French are pushing in now. And so will I. Not much else has happened. Um, yeah, losing in Indiana. Um, yeah, that's one of my bigger ships. 13 inch guns. Um, ouch. Still have two of them. At least in, uh, in the dry docks right now. Um, can I upgrade more ships? No, let's not. Let's... Let's not, people. Let's not. Let's try to keep, um... The shipbuilding more or less uh, decent. Two months, then we get a lot of new ships, and then I can resume construction on the New Hampshire and the Texas. <sighs> Damn, that's my first battleship loss this campaign, I think, due to a submarine of all things. Oh, I'm grumpy now. Um, yeah, anti-submarine warfare. Hydrophones, not a lot of my ships have them, I think. And I think that played a vital role in the loss of my uh, warship. Unlucky, not the end of the world. Well, just rolled the dice. A Dutch American fleet engaging a Portuguese uh, German fleet. And yeah, could be worse, could be worse. At least we got some victory points against the Germans. And I was only putting one of my ships on the line, so yeah, why not? New invasion kicked off. New invasion kicked off. New invasion kicked off. Oh, man. And Serbia is getting crushed. Well, not really. Yeah, really. They are getting crushed. <laughs> By the Austrians. Very fun indeed. And one turn later, this happens. New holes available. Modern battleship. One, modern battleship. Two, modernized dreadnoughts. We are in 1916. Oh my. Oh, oh, oh my god. That means... Um, oh look, we got a battle. Ooh, fun. I might take that one later on. But first... Fleet status and ship designs, yeah. New Hampshire and Minnesota, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to resume your construction. You're going to get scrapped straight away. There. How much money budget? Oh, look at that. We're well within budget. Ship design. New design. Oh, yes. Let's sit up straight for this one. <laughs> Woo! Yes, 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 yes. Let's see, modernized dreadnought, battleship one, battleship two. Oh God. Um, I'm thinking about going modern battleship one for now, for the first batch of warships. And I'm gonna call you the Arizona class. 28 knots, oh my God. They are gonna be huge. Let's make them a bit smaller, though. That's still very huge. What's the smallest we can make you? 38,000 tons. Let us see. And the Minnesota is 42,000. Okay, well, we got we to gotta go bigger. Bigger than a previous battleship. Oh, God, look at that. Look at that, people. Mmm. And we can design these monsters in 1916. 
I mean, wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is insane. I wonder if we can actually make it work. Let's go with induced semi-oil. Yes, 100%. 104%. Okay, um, I want anti-flood. I want crop. I want torpedoes. Electric shove to... Already had you. Range finders. Yeah, we can go with... Stereoscopic, I think, is the best. Hydro 1, yes please. 15 inch, 7, 7, 6, 3, 3, 2, 22. Just for now, just for now. Right, center line guns. 16 inch Mark 1, 15 Mark 1, 14 Mark 3. Yeah. Oh, they're so small! My gun tag is so small. Oh my god. No, I refuse. 15 inch. Does not look much better. Yeah, that's what looks good. Well, better at least, but. <laughs> oh my. Let's increase the length of these guns. 0 0.18 rounds a minute. Reload time of 300 seconds. Oh my god. <sighs> the 14 inchers. And this, this is the thing, right? 0 0.18 rounds a minute or 0 0.81 rounds a minute. Um... Even though it looks ridiculous, I'm going with the 14 inchers for now. Increased gun length, yes please. And you know what, let's go with 14.8. Let's see, point 0.5, does the caliber does not increase... Well, not much. It does not slow the reload down a lot, um, and it does give me some extra. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going with 14.9 inches. I know. I know. I know the drawbacks. Gonna do it anyway because I want at least to have some proper guns. Something that feels like having proper guns on this battleship. Secondaries, six-inch guns. Yes, two six. Inchers to each side. Five inchers. Yes, we can add a five incher as well. That's it, really. Four inch. Do we have four inch, ladies and gentlemen? Do we, do we, do we? No, 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 no. We do not. Three inch. Yes, we can fit a three incher there. Even if I rotate you, that does not work. Okay. Two inch. Oh, yes. Ooh, we can have two inches on top as well. I really like that when it can, can be done. I think it looks really silly. <laughs> but I do enjoy it. You have a bad firing angle. Oh, that is a shame. If I get rid of you, and get rid of you. And place you not quite in the center of that thing. And that problem is solved. There we go. There we go. Underwater torpedoes. One, two, three. Yes, please. 19 inch. Reduced torpedo ammo. That's fine. Um, standard shells is fine, but I'll go with heavy shells on these ships. Citadel 3, Barbette 3. That means we can upgrade the engines a bit more. Twenty-nine knots. Yes. Twenty-nine knots. Oh my god. 
here I was, last episode, upgrading my cruisers, saying, you know, these new cruisers can keep up with my battleships for a while. <laughs> nope. They cannot. They cannot at all. There we go. Is there anything I want to do? Plus 5% on you. The 5 incher, however, will lose 5%, will become more of a shotgun. The 2 inchers will lose some diameter. Go to 1.1 in the hopes. No, not quite, but. The position where he cannot fire is pretty low now. I am going to increase the length to compensate. Very short range guns. Worth it, worth it, worth it. There we go, the Arizona class battleships. They are going to change the world. And look, look at that, the weight. We still have so much weight. Uh, Let's go with reinforced bulkheads. Double bottom. 20 inch main belt? No, that's too much. Let's go with a 17 belt and an 8 deck. Yes, yes, I feel it. Safe design. Didn't check what the turning circle was 600 meters. Eh, that's okay. I'm not planning to get close anyway with this. Ooh, I like you. The Arizona, very big girl. Now, if we have a big girl, I also want a small girl. And that's the modernized dreadnought. That will be the Texas. 29 knots. If the Arizona can do 29 knots, then the Texas can as well. It's as simple as that. Let's drop the displacement even more. And we cannot fit you, we cannot fit you. Can we fit a modernized tower one? Yes, we can. You're too big. You fit. Induced. Air turbines. Semi oil. Problem solved. You will get an imbalanced rudder before I forget. with hydro and a radio <laughs> ding 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 okay i would like a secondary barbette over there main guns again 14 inch is the way to go even on this ship but the difference is with this ship it actually looks decent <laughs> go. Secondary guns, I would like five inchers. One, two, three, four. Oh, that looks small on that barbat. Hold on. A six incher looks so much better on that barbat. Let's go with a six inch gun and let's add another six inch in front of it. Oh, that gives issue for this gun, eh? Well, considering we have a massive four weight offset, I don't mind moving these turrets out. There we go. Then we can move you. This is gonna be tight. But it fits, it fits. Secondary tower. Main tower. Can you move? Yes, you can. Oh, look at the four weight offset. That is so much better. By just moving everything a few inches backwards. <clears throat> Very nice indeed. Um, let's go with a 15 inch main belt. 7 4, 9 aft. 7 main. Five, seven. 
There we go. Hey, I counted that out decently, didn't I? Gunite, a max AP. I forgot to change that on my other battleship, but that's fine. I'll change that the moment I replace her guns with proper 15 inch guns. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Um, don't have a lot of room. Yeah, that was even too much. Yep, yeah, this is her. This is my small new battleship. And I'm gonna build so many of the Texas and the Arizona class battleships. In fact, <coughs> I'm building a couple of battleships. Maybe I should get rid of those. It's gonna be a waste. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be a real waste. No, let's not. Let's look at the older battleships first and get rid of those. Except the main. The main stays. I refuse to get rid of that ship. <laughs> oh, this is wonderful. This is so cool. Um, let's take a look. Fleet. Battleships. We have a couple of Kansas ships, Delawares, Oregon's. Not much in port though, um, except for a couple of, well, the, a main class, I'm gonna leave that intact. An Indiana and a Pennsylvania, Pearl Harbor and San Francisco. Um, yeah, goodbye. The Georgia is in Utah. 1915, 700 crew members, 21 knots, 14 inch guns, gonna scrap you as well. These are... Iowa. New Hampshire class, 11 times to 10 inch, what did I build with you? Oh right, that's this ship. Um. Well, we, we gotta see her in action once, don't we? Don't we, don't we, don't we? Mind you though, I just removed my all my battleships at the uh, west coast, I think, of the USA. Maybe that wasn't very smart. If the enemy invades, I'll have a problem. There's no way I can get ships there in time. They're all in, all the others are in the Mediterranean. As such, Iowa, Wyoming, you will deploy in San Francisco. You guys will Norf have Norfolk as main base. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, but I am going to build new ships, finances. Can I? I, I can afford a couple. Let's start by laying down the foundations for two Arizona class ships. Ooh, it's gonna be tricky. Um, and on one Texas finances, just over capacity. But, 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 but. Uh, research, big guns. Yes, please, okay, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, commissioning a battle cruiser in one month and then that problem is solved. Ah, this is gonna be epic. <laughs> Modern battleships, and they will be done in, well, it's not, 1916 now. When will they be done? There, 31, whoa, ho, ho, 37 months. Still, that means before 1920, I have modern battleships. And the moment these other ships are done, I'm gonna build a lot more of them um, to replace my older battleships with. Yeah, I like that. Talking about older battleships, Wisconsin, Europe, against the key. That's a Japanese ship. Okay, Japanese ship in Portuguese hands, I think. The cruisers, 
AI control. They're all Ally chips, after all, I believe. Let's see, there's some Paul. There's a Dutch one. Milwark, also Dutch. Scranton, also a Dutch ship. All I get to control is this giant battleship. That is doing 21 knots. Let's not. Let's go down to 19 knots with my battleship. Allow the cruisers to go in front of me. Speed is slowing down. So I'm going to start my turn. At least slightly. There we go. Engine vibrations. Minus 5%. Let's go down to 17 knots. As the first enemy shots are coming in. My guns are We have engaged the enemy. Battle has been joined. Ooh, that was actually pretty close there, that salvo. Oh, there comes the main salvo. Destroyed main tower, flooding. Very good hit on that German battleship there. Ooh, that ship is badly mauled. Seems the Germans had some issues with repairs. Maybe they were on their way back. Although, no, hold on, that's not a German battleship, is it? It's the key. That is a Portuguese ship, if I recall. Yeah, indeed. I must go back to my battleship because I took a hit. But in exchange, I sank an enemy battleship. Now, secondaries. Please kill that destroyer. Main guns. Back on that warship there. Whoops. Okay, problem solved. <laughs> the Dutch ships are moving to evade. That means there are torpedoes. Somewhere. I mean, there was the first torpedo, but that went wide. There we go. Another enemy ship neutralized by the firepower of the main. And no, then Wisconsin, pardon me. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, let's put some fire on the Penzoigen there. Torpedo attack on the Dutch cruiser. If the Dutch cruisers die, then that's annoying, but not the end of the world. Let's do a turn and get all my guns to bear on that cruiser. 14 inches. Fire. God damn it, Sarge. Well, that works too. <laughs> Secondary Spinzoigen, please. No. Too dangerous. We're gonna hit uh, the St. Paul. And the cruiser destroyed all guns on the Spinzoigen now. For she just caused a devastating hit on the St. Paul. And we gotta avenge her. There we go. Avenging complete. Wow. These guns are so accurate. Look at that, 96%. With so many 14-inch guns, that is, well, essentially, each salvo is deadly. As the Dutch take another hit, but seven ships have been sunk, including the key, a Portuguese battleship. Very well done indeed. Um, 
yeah, I was gonna say, that name of that ship here looks Italian. <laughs> I think I saw this picture before today. In that case, the, the amount of uh, ships on the loading screen, it's, it's more than sufficient. But sometimes the rotation is a bit weird. So, we still have a task force. In Africa? Why would I have a task force in Africa? Right, Mogadishu has a destroyer. Okay. Let's see what happens. Medium damage against heavy damage. Hey, I won. The Brook managed to weaken the Germans. Well done. <laughs> well, not really. Not really well done. Um, do I know? I don't think I do, right? What kind of big gun tech is coming up? No. But by God, I need bigger 15-inch guns. Bigger 15-inch guns. What is wrong with that statement? <laughs> I want Mark II guns. Building 11 battleships. Only three of them are modern. In a way, it's stupid what I'm doing. Honestly. Still, I'm getting more modern battleships out so I can replace the older ones. So it is useful. Gotta keep that in mind. They're still useful. They're just not as useful as they can be. Interesting. Oh, hello, British. Your fleet just died. <laughs> Seven ships in the West Indian Ocean have been destroyed. Whew, that's a lot of transport ships. The West Indian Ocean. Yeah, German hunters are on the prowl there. What I could do is send a destroyer from here to escort, but honestly, no. German ships are massing in the Mediterranean. Fun. Wisconsin, 8%, and then you're available again. Invasion, 3 out of 6. I'm having a good feeling about this one. So let's continue. All right. A couple of turns later, we took um, parts of Italy. And I turned my fleet towards the Germans in the Mediterranean. And we have our first battle against a German cruiser task force. It's not going to be a big battle, but as you can see, we have some minor damage. We will H. Let's find out. I thought those battleships were out of range. Only just in range. Oh. She just missed, but it's close. Yeah, whoa. Another torpedo, I did not see that one. Damn. 2k damage on the Curse Age. She is dropping out of formation, I think. Well, I guess it's a good thing I got my new battleships up and running soon. Also, destroyers, tr yeah, torpedo avoidance back on, please. Can't be helped. Yeah, save torpedoes and smoke up. That's fine. Let's assume for a second that the enemy launched torpedoes again, so let's turn. Truck C, let's turn. Swayze took a torpedo. Bloody unlucky, I tell ya. Bloody unlucky. Now, battleships, please finish off that cruiser. White cruisers, do assists. Destroyers, screen and target the northern back. 
My destroyers actually managed to pass the enemy cruiser force here. I'm shocked. Let's see, I'm not missing anything, am I? No. Alright, that light cruiser no longer has torpedoes, so she's not a big threat, but there we go. Good riddance. Turn, please. All right. Activate torpedo avoidance on this group. And another torpedo on Rhode Island. Man. Yeah, watch out for German torpedoes. Gotta remember that one. Still the Lautenbach, the ship responsible for launching these torpedoes is gone now, but yeah. More damage than I would have liked. More damage than I would have liked indeed. Five times speed, let's murder this cruiser. Destroyers, engage. Aggressive torpedoes authorized if you have them. There we go, torpedo in the water. It's not necessarily to hit them, just to get the enemy to break off their charge. They see the torpedoes, they will dodge the torpedoes. And hopefully they will not fire as many torpedoes in return. That is at least my hope. Okay, destroyers stop dodging, light cruisers stop dodging. Aggressive torpedoes authorized. Are you gonna hit? Yeah, you walked straight, well, sailed straight into that torpedo. Well, that sucked. What do you mean another torpedo? Where the hell did that come from? <laughs> yeah. Destroyers, stop dodging. Come on. Light cruisers, come on. Start dodging. Aggressive torpedoes. Chattanooga. Ah, torpedo detonation. Unlucky. And my destroyers just charged straight into another destroyer division. be a victory but it will be a costly one let's reorganize oh my god lead ship of the division is over here stop dodging let's go guns on the enemy destroyer come on hit her what the hell is happening here today? Smoke up, disengage. Light cruisers, stop avoiding. Get to your lead ship. Lead ship over here, please. Destroyer started this one. She's closer. My god, sir. My god. Mental note, delete this recording. <laughs> it 
it's just chaos, utter chaos. Yep. That is the Tacoma, Dad. You know, it would have been better if the rest of the formation was actually here, but no. Also, stop trying to hit the enemy and hit the enemy, please. Focus on that light cruiser. I said focus on the light cruiser, you... Mm. Oh, this game, it drives me mad now and then. It drives me mad, so... Here. Lead ship of this formation is over here. And due to that, due to the torpedo avoidance of these ships earlier, these ships are now dead. Well, they're not dead, but they're gonna eat torpedoes. They are going to eat torpedoes, aren't you? There she comes. That is the torpedo ship. He did not fire. Lucky me. Okay. This destroyer group turn around. We are the main targets. Okay, let's regroup. St. John, how far away are you by now? 100 kilometers. That's good. At least that's something. Now, let's take a look at the rest of my fleet. Yeah, Tacoma is, is down and out. Swayze, Tushi... Well, it's mostly not destroyers who took hits. So that could have been worse. Still. Activate Torpedo Avoidance. I'm gonna see that one coming. Still a lot of enemy destroyers in this area. Let's turn to this side instead. Turn on torpedo avoidance on that group. Light cruiser group, stop avoiding please and gather up. Still an enemy destroyer in my rear, that is annoying. The enemy is pretty much all around me. Bush. Turn around. La 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 and murder him. <sighs> you're out of torpedoes. No, you're not out of torpedoes. Okay. That's annoying. Hello! Woo! Missed me! <laughs> you are not out of torpedoes, but you are reloading right now. Bush, your division, go after that other one, please. Curse Age, over there. Okay, looking good, looking good. Massive hit on the bush, because the enemy destroyers are just moving in and out of my formations. Traxi, turn. Arkansas, turn. Takuma is still desperately trying to get to her division. <laughs> light cruisers. On this enemy light cruiser, please. Arkansas. Enemy light cruiser has no torpedoes. This one does. As we finally nuke that one destroyer in our lines. Next one as well, but... Yep. Oakland took a torpedo in exchange. Alright, let's go after those light cruisers next. One down. These destroyers may turn around. 
really that auto targeting is annoying the hell out of me now and then. I really want this ship to die. But nope. They're all going, yeah, let's target the other ship instead. Tell me, these four ships. Ugh. Nasty indeed, so nasty indeed. But we're getting there, we're getting there. I think this is the last enemy ship that I need to kill before the M turn button shows up. Hits, nice hit. 3k damage. Oakland's turn in. 2k damage and she is done. And there is the end turn. Well, the end battle. Oh, one ship lost. Only the Springfields. After a torpedo hit, she uh, sank straight away. However, a lot of my battleships and cruisers will have... Uh, taken torpedo damage so it is a victory but a costly one not my best performance ever um, what happens German torpedoes they they were far more aggressive with the torpedoes than the Italians before essentially that is it however the lesson has been learned next time we shall be more careful still it is a victory um, USA Germany uh, the Germans want a peace treaty yeah I accept let's take a look yeah the curse age six months is the most badly damaged of my battleships Tacoma six months mm. and St. John unknown <laughs> Right, I think I have to move a division. Maybe even entirely back home. At least to a home. Let's see. Mm. The main Rhode Island. Yeah, they're all they are all parked here. This division here is still intact and controlling the western Mediterranean. The German task force. Well, there is another one. I failed to intercept her with these groups. So let's move another group here. I have one group of battleships over here. That's fine. Um, as my ground forces are invading central Italy. Let's take a look at that. Yeah. And Sicily, the second attempt, is succeeding. So I should be able to take Sicily from the uh, Italians. Um, maybe even Central Italy, meaning um, Ancona and maybe even the port of Gaeta. Southern Italy, yeah, that's not happening for now. Not happening indeed. Finances, yeah, look at that. Way over budget now. We have too many ships being repaired. Status. I need some drastic measures, I think. Although most ships are only one month. However, we had a battleship. Cursage. A Kansas class battleship. How many Kansas class battleships do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, um, a lot. Um, I think I'm gonna scrap the Curse Age. There. She did great. But with those repair times, yeah, no. Um, instead, I want to focus on getting my newer ships out soon 
very soon. Look at that, the new hand, the fleet that is deploying in San Francisco, but also in Norfolk. One month and these new battleships will be out and then I can send them straight to the front lines. I approve. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, comes an end to this episode. As you can see, we took Northern Italy. We're pushing into Central Italy. The Italian fleet is still non-existent. The German fleet, well, they have more torpedoes than I first anticipated. And as such, they have caused me more damage than I would have liked. However, I'm still very strong. I have plenty of ships and I am more than confident that I can win against the Germans in the next one, maybe two episodes. Especially if we can sink this task force. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you a very fond farewell and take care.